Uh, I don't think this door is accessible. Nope. But I think this door is. Yes, it is. All right. All right. I'm digging it. Let's let's go into the room. Let's uh, see what kind of horrors await us. Uh, we got we got um, looks like wood. We got a. Uh, I think a new weapon for Asuka. It's a shiv. It's a new knife-like weapon. That, that's good. It's good. You can live with that. Probably don't even need the other team, but I'm gonna call them anyways, because, you know, that's that's what I do. I should probably use a tonic, I'm not gonna lie. Everyone's looking a little lean on the HP. What? Oh. There was another bat. And that totally ended the call. See, that's what happens. That's what I was saying. You can't get into two battles at once. All that will happen is that it ends the call sooner than it should. And that's what I was trying to say, like, way back. Way back, I think, in part one or two. And, uh, I know how it is. I try to explain things. It doesn't work out too well. <laughs> it's better that I just show it, right? Okay. We got another fresco. It looks, looks like it's a different color. And you might be asking, was that in the movie? It was. Was, was there like a ton of it in the movie? You know, like molt, like spread throughout the entire mansion? No. No. I don't know why that works in the game, but it, it does just go with it. I'm, I'm not questioning it. Why should you? Because it doesn't make sense? Well, um, yeah. Okay. I, um, take a photo and letters appear. February 3rd, our 10th anniversary, and our first child was born. Aw, see, that, that's the greatest 10th anniversary, or any anniversary, really, when it comes down to it, because, like, your child, well, unless you don't want kids, but I assume they did, you know, it's like, it, it seems like, it seems like a thing, you know, like, I don't know, if, if, if you were announcing that your kid was born, I feel like you'd, you'd, that'd be something you, you'd be like, Oh yeah, we got a kid! Head north for the East Garden. That's what we gotta do. We got a rune... That's, that's a rune spear. It's tempting. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna... What I am gonna do... Oh, worms. <laughs> See, I was like, oh, I don't know, uh, worms, worms are, worm, like, how do they do anything? But now it's like, literally, in reality, uh, step on them. I'm gonna take this wood. I'm gonna, I'm gonna avoid this chair. Or right, try to, anyways. Go to the left. Ah, oh, yeah. I knew, I knew that would work. I knew it would work. Come on, man. Beyonce knew, like, that, that song, it totally was foretelling this, this game, like, always go to the left. Let's take a look here. A skeleton. Alright. Alright. Oh man. Let's go to the left again. Surely this has to work, right? Right? Wrong. <laughs> okay, can't. I guess, I guess if you abuse the left, it, it, it just, the luck runs out. It just, it just doesn't work out too well. Alright. It's fine. I don't really care. I'm just gonna use this wood. I'm just gonna avoid this boulder. Neat little trick. If you actually put the wood up here, it it base its path is basically right here. If you put the wood over there, it actually goes all the way to the table. It can really mess up your party, sort of. I mean, I, I think it does 20 points of damage. It's stuff you can live without, really. But yeah, it's like if if you put it up there, it, it totally falls right there. So no need to worry. Although, I'm worried what we're gonna run into. Zombie, okay. I, I'm I'm kinda curious if we can wreck it at this point, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna test that. I don't wanna do that. Also, if it stuns, you still run, cause, uh... It, it's a very lethal status effect, don't recommend... Re don't recommend keeping that longer than you have to. I don't recommend fighting with it. Your party member will die. It's it's bad. We have another open spot, but this right here, pointless. It's another way to get to this area. 
along with worms, you know, because that's that, that's a, that's a thing. That's a that's a thing. We we don't even need the other party members. Not worth the experience. Six points. I mean, you might be like, oh, that's worth it, right? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. Aside from zombie, I, I'm pretty sure there's no reason to call the other party into that. But uh, I don't know, maybe. I'm just, I'm just going to fight more worms. At a certain point, like experience, experience is all, uh, is all in the beholder. That, that's, that's my rule. I'm just gonna take this wood and then I'm gonna switch to the other party and go out this door. It was already open. Didn't need to use the key on the other door. I chose to. And we got we got a wisp. I, I don't even need the other party. This is too experienced monster. Why am I gonna need everyone else? On the other hand, I totally need to figure out who has a flashlight. Taro. Taro has a flashlight. So these these things I said are bad. Well, you know, now with flashlight, not even an issue. Zero issue right there. But that bright sparkly glass right there, I, I totally need the other party to take care of that. I mean, like, I can try as much as I want unless someone has a broom, which I don't recommend. Inventory space is limited. And you want to you want to keep that stuff as open as possible. You know, open inventory slots. You need as many as you can. You gotta be a little conservative on items. It, it's, it's kind of a staple that's carried over into horror survival games to this day, and just you know, actually just games in general. I mean, it's kind of like you know, pick your poison. What's going to be more useful and what's going to be least useful? Also, tonic. I should probably start considering that. Uh. Well, if I had a say in stuff. We'll use this tonic. Let's restore the party members. Let's get a Kiko to take that tonic. We'll just, uh... We'll just exchange this wood. Use this tonic. That's better. Also, I should probably bring up, because it was just said, tonics not only restore all your HP, they also restore your prey points, so... You know, aside from being a really awesome attack, they, uh, they totally also just, um, they actually do solve puzzles. That's right, praying actually is very useful, I'll show that in a second, but, you know, if, if you're running low, tonic, tonic always works. Ton uh, see, that's why it's like, it's good to be a little conservative with the tonic, but only a little. You know, it's like... You, you could you could be as conservative as you want, but I mean, let's take let's let's be honest. You don't have to be that conservative. Also, we got a uh, fire extinguisher. I'll need that. And we got we got enemies, new enemies. Grave. He vomits blood, or at least I think that's blood. I probably should get the other team before I just straight up attack this guy. Not saying that we're we're uh, overpowered. I'm just saying that I want the experience. I want everybody to get the experience. All right. He does a little bit of damage. He's got two grabby hands, which <laughs> I, I I don't know. A little creepy there. A little creepy. That that is the creepiest enemy we've seen thus far. Also fire. But I know what you're thinking. We got that fire extinguisher. So not even an issue. Take a look at this. We got we got a dusty fresco. So we're just gonna we're gonna vacuum it, restore it. It's all cleaned. Leave to go to the other party. And then, you know, we'll take it. We'll we'll get we'll get a clue to the thing. At least I think we will. <laughs> what I'm saying. It's it's so obvious. You're like <laughs> What does it say? Layers appear. February 11th. Where is lightning? Oh, where there is lightning. I misread that. I was going to say that's broke. That, this kind of doesn't make any sense. Ugh. My own fault. Right, viewers? Right? Bloody layers. Can't enter without prayer. Alright. So, as I was saying, 
Praying will get you out. Well, like solve puzzles. And when I when I say that, I mean it's always been an option. Whenever you look at something, it's always an option. But occasionally, you will uh. Yeah, there's a spear. You can try to take it. Sometimes you have to look twice. But you can't you can't concentrate nearly as much. But with praying, with praying with a high enough uses of the prey points, you draw it. And we get we get a spear. You can look at a spear. It's an armor spear. You might be like, oh that's cool, let's quit it. Because that's what that's what we got. You might accidentally hit the use button. But yeah, you'll you'll quickly find that doesn't that doesn't work. So you take it. It's actually an inventory item. Yeah. Anyways uh, I think this is a good place to stop. Uh, we'll, we'll be back next time.